can build a better village? Villagers or actual human players? Where are my men? Hello? There you are, guys. What are you doing over here? All right, men. Well, we're stranded. Hello? Guys, guys, Hello? we made Hello? it. We got into the server. Hello? Hey. What's up? Hey. Yo, hey. Yeah. Hey. Yo, we can hear things. Whoa. In case you're new around here, these villagers can mine, craft, and even build. And we're going to see how well they can handle Minecraft's harshest biomes. Last episode, we were in the desert, but now we're in the middle of the ocean. Okay, they each have five days to build the better village. Different worlds, same seed. Our story begins with a shipwreck, stranded in the middle of the ocean. Oh, oh man. Woo! You go down to the bunker once to cook some pizza rolls and you wreck the entire ship. And now we're shipwrecked on a bunch of islands. Where are my men? Hello? My crew had gotten a head start on survival, swimming to the nearest island. Or they abandoned me at the shipwreck. I'm not so sure. All right, men. Well, we're stranded. And by the looks of it, it looks like this place is kind of barren. But we do have a couple of different caves and uh, we got a spawner. Ooh. Oh, good luck, guys. Jeff? Oh, no. Okay, wait. What if you just got out of there? You don't have to stay. Don't worry, guys. I'll help. I'll help. I can, I can do this. I got this. I'll help. Don't worry. Don't worry. No. 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 Jakutsu. Brandon. Liam. Who, who's Liam? Not a great start for the villagers. Meanwhile, the players wasted no time exploring the islands around them and the sea life below. Bro, oh, this place is huge. Oh my god. Is that a whale? Y'all. Guys, there's a there's a thingy underwater. It's like Whale, whale, whale. Whale, yeah. They're are yeah. are they dangerous though? That's a different question. Um, um they they are, I don't think so. Typically whales aren't are that dangerous. There are some fish. that are. Trust me, guys. All you need to live in this world is a door. A door? Hello. Yeah, you just need a door. <laughs> Hello. I had see <laughs> oh, I don't have working. anything. This is why you use a door. Oh, and if you enjoy the video, consider subscribing so that you don't miss any future episodes. I mean, there's a big stone island straight ahead of us. We could go there. Yeah, let's go destroy all the islands for resources. Some players got to work on survival efforts, making farms and collecting basic resources, while others searched below for treasures waiting to be uncovered. All right. Um, so the only other real loot, and this is down this main room right here in the center. So there isn't, there are like two elder guardians in here. So if we go for, oh, okay, well, I can no longer mine. So. <laughs> I don't think any of us can. All right, okay. I'm gonna go check out that ruined portal, see what has. Oh, there's a wheel! Okay. The shrimp men shall die by my hand. No, Hawk, you're I'm not strong liar. enough for the shrimp man. Oh, it's a traitor. Oh, okay, wait, hold on. Oh, wait, really? Cobblestone. Here we go, friend. Oh, there we go. Oh, oh, thank you. I appreciate thank it. You, for this you. challenge, the players got to choose a role to play in this village, with each role giving them special abilities to help them achieve their goals. And in an effort to work together, they decided to elect a leader that represents each different group. Here's, here's what I'm thinking. Here's what I'm thinking we could do. Because currently the plan is to like have one central leader, but I think it would yep. cool, be cool to have like three different leaders for all the origins. So like a kind of like a council, kind of yeah, yeah, a council. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. We need we need a council. Yeah. Meanwhile, the villagers were finally starting to get somewhere, chopping down palm trees and even looting the shipwreck for additional resources. All right, I'm thinking we inhabit the largest island we can because otherwise we have like next to no building space, and this seems like our best bet. And that means we shall place our one sapling right here. This is going to grow into a beautiful island, or we're all gonna starve and die. All right, I'm thinking we start by mining away this giant rock. That way we get some starting resources to build with, and a little bit more land to build on. Mining stone and waiting for trees to grow. It wasn't much, but it was a start. It didn't help that the villagers weren't being very cooperative. Okay, this is actually going to be really challenging. Every time they come over to the village, they just want to go back to the main island. To make it even worse, they get stuck in the water when they do that. Oh no! I started to think building on this island was a major mistake. But I don't blame them. The conditions of this island weren't exactly ideal. Don't, what, 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 what's hap- Don't eat the rotten flesh! Why are you eating rotten flesh? But sooner or later, we got to work on our game plan. Okay, I'm trying to scope out my game plan. Like I said, I want to build sort of a pirate's cove, a giant shipwrecked village with houses everywhere. Look who finally decided to show up and help. Okay, so the game plan. I want to build a wooden miner's house, which as you can see, basically only requires wooden resources. And that is going to be easier said than done. If you guys give me a pickaxe, I promise I'll help you. 
The bamboo's just not strong enough. Did I do that? All right, I'd reckon that's about as good as this platform's gonna get, at least for the time being. So, Mr. Craftsman, what do you say we get started? Is that you, Liam? Are you gonna be the crafter? There we go. We now have a crafter, and who's it gonna be? It's Dean. Nice. You're just standing there, Dean. Go craft. We can finally build the wooden miner's house. This took so much time and so much effort. And now we have to find out where to put it. I'm thinking we put it right on top of this rock. Oh, man, guys. You really, really made me proud today. This took so much time. But look at us. We've come so far. It's our first house and our new home on our new island. Look at this. Oh, we're going with blue this time. I love it. We got one bed and we got two beds. And with this, we can finally unlock a mining villager. So that said, let's get started, shall we? We can go ahead and hire a mining villager. But you know what? Let's mine too. It requires a stone pickaxe and a stone shovel. And we've got just enough to make two mining villagers. And just like that, our boy Liam and Grungy of all people have been promoted. Look at that. And right there is where they're going to start mining. It's not going to be much. But it's gonna be something. For the players, the town bell had rung, gathering all players together to elect the leaders of their society. Each player had a chance to give a speech about how they would lead their people. Why do you believe you should be a farmer for the people of Schmurth? Well, I think with help from obviously all the farmers, this is not just a one, one man project, it's all of the farmers together. We just really think nobody should starve. I'm super organized, so everything will have a named barrel or chest. We are the miners and we are not going to have a village if we don't have resources. I'm very organized. I, I love mining. Look at this area. It's nice, but it could be better. And whose job is that? That is the builder. I want the building to be great. All the builders, like, we all have to unite because I'm just by myself. I can't do everything. I think I would be, like, a good warrior because, I mean, I play this game way too much. I believe that as warriors, we can help protect everybody else. We will be with you in there to stop anyone from killing you. All right. And after a long debate, the players had finally elected their leaders. Asia, the leader of the farmers. Jan Diggity Dog, leader of the miners. Vintage Doctor, leader of the builders. And Falcon, leader of the warriors. With the foundation of society being built, the players divided into their roles to begin doing their part. They were thriving and even had a pair of mystery solving companions to ward off conflict. Alrighty, just uh, don't be so seedy. Reggie, I think it's Roma. <laughs> it's safe to say this is going to be a weird five days. You know, it's moments like these where I think about our dear friend Aki. For those of you who know, you know, what a good guy. Here we are starting yet again another amazing village. Oh, Hunter, I know you're hungry. I'm so sorry. There's nothing I can do. But you know what? Farewell, my good friend. You have served us well. I need food. I, I'm sorry. I don't know what to tell you, man. Flapjacks. No, I can't make you flapjacks. I don't have the ingredients. What about the pizza rolls? No, the pizza rolls are mine. I'm not going to give you my pizza rolls. You have the 160 count. Can't you share? Look, I think we're just going to have to agree to disagree on this one. It's not life or death, Hunter. It's really not. It literally is. Okay, well, you got me there. May he rest in peace. Oh. For the players, day two was about building on the foundation of their village and working together to achieve their goals, despite being divided by the water. Because I think half of us are without tools, at least the farmers. Yeah, yeah, I don't have anything. Some players farmed, while others explored. Let me go check that out. There's nothing here, okay. Interesting. I literally died to a skeleton. That's so embarrassing. Oh, and make sure to join our Discord so that you too can participate in Minecraft events like this one. Getting stranded at sea is pretty difficult, but a majority of players spent their time using their abilities to help other players, creating a system for survival. We're also trying to distribute food everywhere, so... It's Zigzag, my it's favorite me. Pokemon. I have more food for you. <gasps> Yay! Food. You, food. You, iron, what? By the way. you are our favorite person. <laughs> yeah. The two. I don't know how this is going to work. It's on a moss block. What was that? Oh, uh, it worked. More dirt. 
What island is this? I'll take um, this is the Kelp much, Citadel. So Welcome. Hey, uh, can someone help me mine out this area? Uh, hello, where's the food here? Since I kind of am oh, a new uh, here. food. Over here is the food. I got you, bud. I got you. As for the mystery duo... Oh, I think I found my dog. Oh, is he paddling? Or is he getting eaten by that whale over there? <laughs> I think he's eating the whale. <laughs> I'm honestly not sure. Oh, Although... man, I'm sorry, but my dog is a little bit, uh... <laughs> Bye. Like, no way, Rick. Like, Scoob, you're a cartoon dog. No, -uh. no, I just got too many people talking in my ear. Oh, I'm sorry. I can hear everything. Reggie. Oh, I think he's crazy. Just wait. You should come back once you're on your mystery because I'm sure there'll be some crimes here. Even though they had yet to start building, you've got to admire the players for working together. These islands were not easy to survive on, and the ocean wasn't much easier. And for the villagers, it was even more challenging. Good morning, my wonderful sea crew. Today marks the day. Where are you guys going? I'm trying... I'm trying to have a cool meeting. You know, I'm actually just now noticing these guys look a lot different. Who is Lawrence? Yeah, they all died. They got hungry. And today we're gonna try and solve that problem. Unfortunately, that means all of our mining villagers are also dead. So basically all of that work that we did is now null and void. It doesn't matter. <laughs> but with a new crew at hand, the villagers picked their noses and got to work. I've got a couple of important missions on today's agenda. Number one, we're going to build a blacksmith's house. So let's get crafting. Hey, we're gonna, we're gonna need to hire another craftsman. The other one died. Okay, we're gonna need a lot of cobblestone stairs and a quite a few ladders. We're also gonna need fern eye, a couple of spruce trap doors, spruce slabs, spruce stairs, bamboo stairs. Then we're also gonna need some moss blocks, which it looks like our boys got it covered. Attaboy, guys. Attaboy. And just like that, we can build a blacksmith's house, meaning we can have furnaces and finally start smelting. I kind of like the idea of having it here, but we're going to have to clear out some land to do that. Hey, buddy. I'll do that. Oh. David? You guys didn't see that, right? This shovel doesn't work. Lawrence, get a load of this. These villagers know how to build custom trees. I don't care. Well, it's not perfect, but it'll do. And, and it barely fits. I mean... <laughs> It barely fits. But with that said, not only do we have two furnaces so we can start smelting, but it also comes with another bed. Nice. I think that means we have three beds now. Now we can go ahead and hire a blacksmith, meaning we can finally smelt. I've got enough iron to finally make those rails, meaning once they're done smelting, we should be able to build a wooden lumberjack's house, which will allow us to get lumberjacks to automate tree farming. Let's go. But we gotta find a place to put it. I'm panicking, man. I really don't know what I'm gonna do. So we got to work on a basic tree farm. But before we could do that, we had to build a lumberjack's house. Oh, it really came together. Look at this place. Hello. We've got one bed. Great. But you know what? I'm not gonna complain. It leads right out to where the farm's gonna be. This is literally gonna be perfect. Oh, it looks so good. Is it that right, Lawrence? Get me off this island. Okay, now we actually need to get to work and try and make this area a usable farming space because right now it's definitely not. It wasn't perfect, but it was a start. Before we do anything, we actually need to hire a lumberjack and that cost one stone axe, which I have. So perfect. Okay, who's our lumberjack? Who's our lumberjack? Oh, Raymond, looking good, buddy. Oh, look at him. He's planting the trees equally apart. Maybe if we expand this a little bit more, we'd be able to double up on the trees. Let's go, Raymond. I gave you a little bit more space, buddy. The only downside to this is he's using only oak saplings, but we need spruce and birch. Raymond, what are we gonna do about this? Grow them yourself. Next on their agenda, the villagers wanted to solve the food crisis, but that wasn't going to be easy. Come on, Larry. Get some seeds, man. I know you can do it. You're the lucky one. Lucky Larry. One small farm coming up. I told you guys, I'm solving the food crisis. No one will die by the hands of no food in, in their <clears throat> in their hands. By on my wa- I really messed that up. <laughs> there you go, guys. Now we just need to recruit a farmer. Who's it gonna be? Eh, we'll do that in the morning. <gasps> Have fun starving. Meanwhile, the players had a problem of their own. Oh, I hear Phantom. <laughs> Watch it! Yes, yes. Watch it! Phantoms. In order to stop them from spawning, they had to find a way to sleep. That's where the warriors stepped in, looting wool from an ancient city they had found to craft beds for everyone. Uh, and then let's yeah, I'm, get I'm, actually I'm let's get some wool for, for beds. Oh, that's really smart. Yeah, we can do like the great sleep again. Because I, I know that the farmers probably appreciate setting their spawn on their island because they die so often. Yeah. Okay. While you do that, I'm gonna go get some experience. Okay. I'm, yeah. I'm I see grab... an entity over here. What is it, dude? What's this spectral miner thing? 
I'm just gonna be grabbing a bunch Dude, of Dude, take a look at this. Oh. Can we kill what? Him? Yo, look at him. A ghost, huh? That sounds like a job for the mystery duo. Well, like Scoob. You're like the chosen Ooh. one. Bye. Reggie, I don't want to control this thing. Reggie. Scoob. 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 Come on, Scoob. What on it's earth? Uh, uh, oh, Come my. On. No, does he have a Scoob. submarine? The players were doing all right. Most players were trying to build on land, while others were building in the water. These players were even building their own island for an epic castle. The whale is dying. The whale's dying. Good. The whale's dying. Uh, I'm not so sure loud. what happened. As for the villagers, they just wanted food. Okay, yeah, we've got a bit of a problem, actually. We need to build a forester's home before we can even have a farmer. And what is the forester's home? F uh, flipping flapjacks. That thing is so big. Where am I going to put it? Hey, guys, remember when I said that we were going to solve the food crisis? And like everything I've built so far, this is probably going to be temporary, but I think we build a miniature dock and just build it on top of that. That is, if Jonathan can do it without dying first, Jonathan. Oh, come on. Oh, come on. Preach. Honestly, these villagers are about as smart as this zombie right here. All right, Kyle, it's all up to you. You are single-handedly bringing food to this village. Never mind. You're doing it with Henry and Kate. Yeah, okay, you're not that special anymore, Kyle. It might look a little bit weird right now, but I think once we add more docks, it'll look a little. Oh God! What is? Oh, it's a puffer fish. Get out of here, you little dude. Okay, and with that, we now have a forester's home placed very awkwardly on the dock. But hopefully, it comes with more than one bed. We've got one. And we've got two. Okay, not bad. With a lovely view of the ocean monument, I might say. First and foremost, now we can actually hire a farmer so that we can finally bring food. Oh, guys, you have no idea how popular you're about to be in this village. But that said, I believe we should now have enough beds to start bringing new villagers to our village. And just like that, we've got Harold. I already want to leave. All right, boys, day three. Enough messing around. First order business. Oh, hello. <laughs> We're gonna get rid of the tree farm because we need the space. And after all, I think it would look a lot better if we build it on our very own dock. To kick off the new day, the villagers started dismantling their farms to move them to a more permanent location. That way, they would have more room to build housing to support more villagers. I think right now we have about nine villagers. We've got a couple of farmers and then a couple of people like Harold who don't do anything, <laughs> jerk. But considering we have so many islands, like I haven't even started this island yet. These islands were never made to support a big village. So they had to think with their noses to find an efficient way to expand. That meant building wooden docks along the edges of the island for farms and even smaller housing. Now that is what I am talking about, a beautiful tree farm with a beautiful view of the ocean monument that we're never going to be able to explore because these guys don't know how to swim. But I don't either, it's fine. They weren't the only ones admiring the ocean monument, but for the players, they wanted to go one block deeper. So here's what we're gonna do. We have I a heart of the sea here, and over there, there is an <laughs> ocean <laughs> monument ruin. We are going to go to that ocean monument ruin, and we are going to restore it with this heart of the sea. There's three outer guardians we're gonna have to take down, and they are going to not give us mining fatigue, maybe. Yeah, After maybe. we do that, we are going to then okay. take the blocks from the monument back here, and build with them. Do we understand? Made it. Yes. yes. And so the conquest had begun. The plan was simple. Take out the Elder Guardians and dismantle the monument for Prismarine so that their village had more exotic resources to build with. But it wasn't going to be easy. Oh, oh, I'm gonna die here. Yeah, yeah, I got it, I got it, I got it. Uh, mine that block and then the conduit should activate. Are there any more Elder Guardians? There's the one thing holding us back. It's a singular spruce plant. <laughs> Oh That's my why god. I put the color 100 there, so players can just versus the one on plank of wood. Does anyone have milk by any chance? Mine is first plank. It's the yeah. only thing holding us back. Come on. I also I also have diamond like me. Yeah. 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 Let's go. Having made their entrance, the players divided to mine the blocks around them while others explored for loot, unknowing of the dangers lurking in the water. <laughs> Killed it. Ooh, aquamarine. There is not. Uh, okay, not yeah, that's deadly. That is deadly. Oh no. Wait, what? Is what? Wait, the, uh, can we kill this? We can't make a new submarine. What is that? Um, yeah, that's not gonna be fun. Uh, oh 
Naruto. Uh, oh my gosh. What the heck is that? Get, get out of here. What the oh, heck? What an is that? I am not no. equipped for this at all. Oh but despite the challenges, the players persevere. Meanwhile, the villagers had moved their one and only source of food in a risky play to build their first large house. And now we can move on to our next big project. The reason I wanted to move the farm and clear out this space. Dylan, you are looking so cool, dude. I'm really excited about this house, but also pretty nervous. It's very expensive, and if we build it, we're probably not going to build anything else for a while. Oh my gosh, it actually fits. That is kind of crazy. It's actually happening. I did not think we could build this house this soon. Granted, what am I talking about? It's day three. This should have been built a long time ago. Despite everything they had accomplished, the villagers weren't doing so well. This was already day three, and their village didn't have a lot to show for it. They were doomed with a small population, but hopefully everything would change with just this one single building. What do we got, what do we got? Okay, oh, there's a bed there, nice. And then nothing there, nothing there. Okay, we got another bed here. That's two beds, three beds, and four beds. This is like the ultimate village house. Oh, I love this. Oh, wait a minute, wasn't there another door? There is. Is there anything in... It's got five beds. Let's go. And look at that, we've already got some new recruits. Who do we got? Robert, welcome to the village. We're not doing so bad now. We got food and Christian. Nice to see you, brother. Nice to see you. Yeah, hey guys, we got bread. We got a new inn. Your beds are over there. Look at the sunset. Oh, look at the sunset. Five new villagers arrived to save the day. And with their help, this was only the beginning. We've got a couple of new villagers. So if you see them, say hello, Joe Mama. I don't know if that's his last name. I'm just assuming it's his last name. <laughs> Another big building I wanna build today is a small warrior's home. I don't think we're that far off from being able to do that. But before we do, I think it's more important that we recruit more villagers as fast as possible, meaning more small houses. That's this build, oh, whoops, sorry. Yep, my bad. That's this build here. And as you can see, each small house adds two beds. I kind of have an idea that we can build platforms like this to have a bunch of small houses on. And then we can build another fishing dock along this side of the island. House after house, new villager after villager. They were finally growing. But could they actually keep up with the players? Thriving from massive farms. Rich from plentiful mines. Protected from the dangers of the ocean. Die. There may not be much, but they're have whatever. And growing from the building expansion. For the most part, they were making amazing progress, but not without some distraction. Some of the warriors developed a system of law, bringing law-breaking citizens to justice. So, Coke Uzzler here has had their bit ruined by Vud calling the bit not funny. Oh, yeah. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Oh, what? No. Wait, wait, I joined into the bit and I called your bit sappy. That's what I said. <gasps> oh, like, man, one thing at a time. You didn't have to play dirty oh there. <laughs> so, so. Oh my God, more. Plans. Everyone, everyone, Spare. prosecution <laughs> would like to would like to um, bud with five accounts of ruining a bit, um, and one count of not being funny. Okay. Let that let that answer immediately in the record. <laughs> They die. They die. Yo, they die. Did they, 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 they run? They ran. They ran. They ran. Hunt they them down. Hunt them down. Everyone oh, fire. Hunt them down. Oh, 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 Hunt them down. Oh, 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 never played a close enough. I don't know what's happening. No. Who is there? Is there like a test? Swimming away. Got him. But they weren't the only ones dying. The villagers just couldn't help themselves. No, 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 no. Anybody but Joe. Anybody. Joe. Why did you do that, man? These villagers really don't last long. And even though we're used to that by now, it still stinks. <sighs> For all the fallen villagers throughout this entire series, I find it fitting to resurrect a monument for all of them, properly named the Statue of Aki. All right, it's time to get serious. One of my goals for this challenge is to build one of at least every single custom house that we have for this village. And as you know, we've mainly been building on this island, but there's so much more space to build 
everywhere else. But I've already figured it out. This is going to be our mining island. My hope is to build a miner's guild here, which as you can see, has a quarry. And then along the sandbar, which as you can see, there are a bunch of sand islands scattered all around the center spawn island. I want to build these old pirate ship based houses. It's as if they were turned from a pirate ship that was shipwrecked into a working building. But as you can see, some of these require wool. And uh, I don't know if you noticed, but um, yeah, there are no sheep anywhere. But fortunately, we can actually solve that problem. But in order to do that, we need to build a small warrior's home. All right, how many beds we got? Hopefully there's at least one in here. I don't know for sure. Okay, we've got one, wait. No way! There's six beds! Are you serious? Is there anything up there? There's gotta be something up there. No, maybe not. But you know what, I'm not complaining. Six beds? That's perfect. Oh, it is truly a privilege to be able to hire a warrior for our village. Even though we don't necessarily have any ongoing threats, I love the idea of being able to finally interact with Ma. And probably the best, oh, hello, what's this? Guys, you're gonna stub your t they're gonna fall downstairs. That said, I think it's time we build an animal pen to try and lure some sheep to our village. With the new animal pen being built, all they could do now is wait for sheep to spawn. Hey, we've got a roof over our head and a bunch of furnaces. Who's cooking? Oh my gosh, in two beds? Let's go, and a giant wall. Look at that. Uh, I like this. I think we should build, oh, look at the window. That's so cool. They're talented, man. These guys got skill. But again, when we're talking about efficiency, it really only adds two beds, which is the exact same number as the small house, which is a little bit easy. Hello. Well, it's a good thing we've got warriors. They can protect themselves, right? It's day four, everybody, and I don't feel good about it. Guys, so listen to what I have to say. I have a feeling the players are astronomically further ahead than you villagers. We haven't even started to touch the other islands. This is all we have to show for it, and it doesn't even look that good. As of right now, we're in a pretty good spot. There are a lot of different builds that I can build, and I have my eyes set on this one. I think if we clear out a big enough space, we can make this work. In the meantime, I want to go pick some flowers. I don't know if you noticed, but our sheep have started spawning, and I need some light blue wool. How did- how how did you get out of the- I died- Your service is greatly appreciated. I wasted no time luring the sheep back into the pen while the villagers made room for construction. All right, small house number six, even though I don't think this is a small house at all. We just need to try and make it work. Oh boy, this uh, <laughs> this house seems kind of crazy. Oh, ho, ho, now that is what I'm talking about. This place looks crazy cool. We got a little bottom storage area and a wonderful little stairway leading up to th three, three beds. Really? After all, my goal is to build at least one of every house that I can, and that house is one step to accomplishing that goal. Ugh, but to continue on, we really need to start breeding these guys. You guys got any wheat down there? With that out of the way, the villagers began terraforming to clear room for an even bigger project. With their only distractions being pesky mobs, nothing could get in their way. The players were light years ahead with their village because they had been working together so well. With multiple projects being worked on, both both above and under the water. But that's when I noticed something cruel and had to step in to save the day. <laughs> are you guys trapped? But they are food. Did they imprison you in here? Do I need to save you villagers? Hello? You didn't what? see anything, Fred. Go away, Fred. You didn't see anything. Yeah. I can save you if you if I need to, villagers. Hey, Did hey, 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 don't punch our employee. Excuse me. Hey. This is our employee. Don't hey. hit him. Excuse me. You tried to sabotage the villagers. Well, these are our paid employees. Fun they fact, like it in there. That's what okay. that's what Every like no. captive person, no. they See, like they it. Like it. Ask them. If you can hear it right now, we've been calling go, 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 go. It turns out my actions would set course a whirlwind of distractions for the player, who at the time were so much further ahead. But for how much longer? This was our chance to put pedal to the metal and get to work. All right, I've got a new plan. This farm right here? Yeah. Sorry, Sean. Sorry, George. I'm gonna destroy it. Oh yeah, no more food for you. Oh, it's, it's, uh, I'm just, I'm gonna build a farm here. It's just a lot more food for you guys. Don't be mad, it was a joke. The creation
renovation of the farming district was underway with the hopes of raising more crops to feed our new villagers, while also making room for more building space. And we wasted no time waiting, building even more houses around the island. Well, would you look at that? We can finally build one of our shipwreck turned houses. But I think to do that, we're gonna have to get rid of a lot of this bamboo. Thank you, Patrick. Or should I say, uh, never mind, I already did the joke. <laughs> what is Peter looking at? There is a giant sea monster. Yeah, right, you're just fooling. <laughs> okay, even with all the bamboo gone, I still don't know if we can make this work. We can, let's go. I have no idea where I want to put it. I'm really excited about this. I have been wanting to build these shipwreck houses all this time. And here we are on day four, barely. Be Adam, Adam. Barely being able to do this. Oh man, look at that. You guys did a killer job. Oh. Oh my gosh. It's not the most efficient thing in the world. Oh wait, we got two beds, really? You guys did a good job making use of the interior here. This looks great. But the sad reality is I wanna build a lot more of these and we're on day four. I don't, I, I just don't know if we're gonna have time. I really don't. I mean, we're still working on this side, which by now you may have noticed. I actually started attempting to terraform and clean up this place. And to be honest, I'm pretty excited. I've got a lot of cool ideas for how we can do that. One idea I have is to build a tunnel going through the entire mountain all the way to the other side. That way we can more easily access the farms and connect the builds that way. So I got to work making pathways while the villagers cleaned up from construction. The art is in the details after all. All the while maintaining our sheep farm, we were ready to build once more. Okay, I've got good news. I think if I craft a single crafting table, we should have enough to build a new building, which is awesome because this house here, this is a stone lumberjack's house. And this building here is a wooden lumberjack's house. And now we're able to build a lumberjack's guild house, the final level of a lumberjack, which requires diamond, which yeah, we just don't have. I'm less concerned about the diamond and more about how the building looks. And I kind I want to build it up here, but we got a lot of work to do to make that work. This feels like a bad idea, but I think I'm going to do some terraforming. Oh, it barely fits. It barely fits. Now we got to figure out which orientation. Hmm. I'm sold. Let's do it. Well, would you look at that? It even has a flag. Oh, I love it. But the real question is how many beds does it have? All right, moment of truth. Oh, look at this lovely place. We got one. And two, three, but hey, we've got a nice little woodworking station. But honestly, we're at a point where we really don't need to worry about more beds. We've got enough villagers. It's probably not a good idea, but I kind of want to go ahead and build this house. I might be getting ahead of myself a little bit, but I just want to see how this island will look. God, seeing a bunch of villagers just build a house, it kind of makes me jealous. Like single player is kind of lonely. Look at what you're able to do in numbers. Makes me wonder what the players are up to. You haven't been paying your taxes on that mystery. <laughs> Run, 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 run. Oh, you're not gonna get away with that. Stop right there! Uh, Raggy! The taxes! The two ones were me, Raggy! You need to pay your taxes! Raggy! Get Raggy, Raggy! Do you ride our red? Oh my god, I'm getting so by my own sand for this. Ride our red, the red to me! There's no point riding Jaggy! Don't get your charges fine! That means go! Yo, thank you, man! There's no point running Shaggy. Just turn yourself in. No, 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 no! Come on, no point we in running. Go. We will always find you. The IRS oh, is always here to collect. Or they, they have the mystery machine. I knew they weren't paying taxes on that. The players were definitely distracted with the mystery duo being hunted by the MRS. Amongst everything else, it was pure chaos. Do you want to see what happens when I do it? Oh. Uh, There's a sound effect too. And even though some players were unwavering in their focus to build the better village, some players just couldn't help themselves. <laughs> this is interesting. And now it's stuck. I don't want to grab their stuff, but I don't want yeah, to Yeah, I don't want to grab their stuff. <laughs> oh my goodness. Normally, I wouldn't agree with keeping them distracted, but it was their idea to take me to court over the villager scandal from earlier. We, we over here at the prosecution intend to prove beyond a shadow of a doubt that Z is a menace on society, does not deserve his title of God, and should and should no, be sent no, no. <laughs> Z, down. Put no it, weapons put in the down. courthouse. Put it down. Put, put it, it down. down. You're going to get charged with several accounts. I don't like what he's assault. saying. Assault. I don't like what he's saying. That's what I'm here for. All this salt. Where's the pepper? 
If it's a distraction they want, it's a distraction they'll get. We at the prosecution believe that System Z should be sentenced to death for the crimes he has committed against our citizens. All right. Yeah, yeah sounds pretty good. So, uh... Yeah, let's do it. Although these allegations were made... There's alligators? Without solid proof, I don't think he deserves deaths, and I'm here to defend him till the very end. Token, okay. could you please give us your name and occupation? Your occupation being your origin. Okay, my name is... He, say, he oh. makes Captain Crunch. Order in the and courts. Z shot you accidentally, is that correct? Woo! Yeah. Nature! <laughs> yeah, man! That's my guy <laughs> right <laughs> there! That's my guy back there, yeah. Coke! Uh, witness, you have written here that you have seen nuclear threats. Of course I have. We saw in the chat there's an achievement. He crafted a nuclear weapon. Objection to that objection. Z is objection. holding Objection, you're on and you on there. Okay, you give me some of that stuff, man. Hook me up. You will speak when spoken to. Sit down. I just a widow guy. So, you know, here's here's your try to back. I'm guilty. Yeah, that is the Falcon to the He's the judge. Here. Without a day like this, the villagers would have had no chance against the players. They were so far ahead. They had multiple big projects happening all at once everywhere. But thanks to all the distractions, the villagers were able to catch up and make extraordinary progress on their village. Look at this place. Oh, this is so beautiful. And we've got Carl laying in a bed next to Nathan. All right, well. Well, it might not look like much, but I have a couple of ideas on how we can turn these sandbars into something really cool. The question is, will we have enough time to do it? I'm starting to think we're gonna be cutting it very close. I wanna build on all of these islands, and so far, we've barely finished this one. But I mean, hey, I'm pretty proud of myself. This place looks awesome. I mean, I might just be confident, but this feels like the place to be. Oh, and imagine when all these builds are around the sandbar and then the mining quarry's over there. That is gonna be awesome. All right, we've made good progress, but that is the end of day four, bringing us to the conclusion in day five. Here we go. Oh no, everyone! Everyone, gather around! Ah, move, Terry! Go, 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 hurry! Robert, hurry! No, 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 it's day five! It's day five. There's no way we have time to finish this. As much as I would love to give a tour, I don't think we have time. We need more of these houses, shipwrecked houses, all along the sandbar. What are you guys doing? And I can almost build more. We just need stone buttons. One stone button coming up. Now we can build it, but there's an even bigger problem. It's not gonna fit at all. I have no idea how we're gonna make this work. Oh, oh. Hey, it works. Atta boy, guys. I don't know why we all had to show up for this, but it's looking good. Wow, you guys built that fast. Move over. I gotta see. Oh, man. Two beds. Look at that. Looking good, Aaron. But we can't stop there. Before the end of the day, I want to build on every single island that we have. Why are you floating, Dennis? God, we are just full of surprises, aren't we? Oh, my God. And look, the great pilgrimage to the main island has begun. See, the island's not so bad now, is it? This was the beginning of the end, and there was so much work to be done in order to win this challenge. At this point, the villagers and the players were evenly matched, designating all manpower towards completing their village. There's he. Hey, um, I would like to ride this epic minecart adventure roller coaster that I. Oh yeah, follow me. Yeah, let's so go. So we had Creepo. Then there might be coming. No, we had kill him, please the, uh... save me. It's oh, no. fine. You're oh, fine. No. You'll be fine. <laughs> so go ahead and take a take a ride in the minecart. Let's go. Okay. All right. Send me off. It's definitely not deadly or anything. Oh, it's not. You're not hey, I don't hey, know why hey, you're not hey. triggering the. I'm sorry. I'm, I eat a lot of bread and. I'm... A little heavy. Um, it's okay. You've been on the oh, heavy side. Farewell! Is it deadly? Um, the players had made use of every slice of land they could step their foot on. And in some cases, even the water around the island. Um, I've also got some skulk blocks that I collected. I, I think Ozone is helping you. Yeah. yeah I'm, oh, what do you need help with? So the finishing touch to this, I want to have like little boxes to throw water in. Ooh, maybe I can go and ask if they have extra prismarine. But with so many ongoing projects, there was much to be done to wrap it all up. Yeah, what happened to bringing the conduit back? It's like the town hall. I promise you I was planning on grabbing it. I feel like someone should just go grab that by now. Where's the conduit? I can go grab it. They knew they were practically finished, but not without retrieving the conduit left behind at the ocean monument. I could mine it significantly faster, also. I'm pretty sure you need a decent guy's um, for it. That's a monster. Um, that is, mm, do we, we kill it? With the, we dealt do we with kill the it as a rite of passage? How much damage does it do? 
Uh, I yes. say we take it down. Is there a bed? It's the Warden of the Sea. Oh. <gasps> I think we leave. Um, I think we leave. I also exactly. concur with that statement. Um, yeah, I can't grab yeah. the stuff out of full inventory, though. And while they fought for their lives, others held back to finish what they had started. Block by block, the players were inching closer and closer to success. Meanwhile, the villagers were very far behind. Okay, here comes another one. To be honest, I have absolutely no structure for this, but I just kind of want to place these everywhere. The villagers spent the first half of the day crashing ships into the shore and and then turning them into houses. Sounds kind of strange, I know. But if it's a pirate cove they want, it's a pirate cove they're gonna get. <sighs> well, I'm feeling pretty good right now. And the sun is setting. Look at this beautiful pirate's cove. But it's not done yet. I would not feel right if we didn't at least put one building on this island. But first, we need to sleep. <laughs> And after a few minutes of brainstorming, we got to work on the final island of our village. The Miner's Guild House. This is what I want to build. And fortunately, I think we can do it. We need cobblestone walls. We need one furnace. A bunch of spruce slabs. Three stone buttons. And a couple of iron bars. Those are the ingredients for the Miner's Guild House. But there's just one problem. I don't, I don't know where I'm going to put this thing. Hey, Aaron, what do you say you come back and help me? Come here. Let me see if I can reach him. Huh. Yeah, not even close. Everything was going well, until it wasn't. I think the villagers weren't so happy being so far away from their beds. I'm not gonna lie, I feel like I broke something in the game. Like, they just don't know how to react. They're so far away from home. You know, to be completely honest, that's been one of the biggest issues throughout this whole challenge. These villagers really don't know how to react to being on islands. So we've been at a major disadvantage. But I guess that's just part of building out in the deadliest ocean of the Minecraft overworld. These guys really don't want to work. Come on, guys, we gotta get started. But nevertheless, Yes, we pushed forward, building the miners' guild house to break soil on the final island. Meanwhile, the players were, well, what weren't they doing? So, C Dubs, we're gonna fill the pews. We've got uh -huh. the whole communion. We've got the whole community to serve today. There's a thing we gotta do as well. And uh Savit is clearly the ascendant of Kelp. Yeah, I'm here. We, I'm we need to send him through the portal, I think, and have him connect with the other side. Yeah, he's gonna have to be the one we send through. He'll be our sacrifice, I mean, he'll be our hero. So we gotta gather the whole oh. server here for the sermon. Are you ready to give it? Indeed. Oh, I'll I'll be warming up my vocal cords. Kelp, 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 kelp. <laughs> kelp me, kelp me, kelp me. Oh. All right, all right, I'm good. Up until this point, there wasn't much known about the mysterious kelp citadel that was being built over the last five days. But they had something special in mind for the finale. Meanwhile, in the courthouse. All right, uh, so all raids for the trial of, uh, they are being charged with tax fraud yes we are men it was the people versus shaggy for unpaid taxes on the mystery submarine and therefore support the entire mystery squad made an appearance taxes have not been paid since forever and we feel that they should either be sentenced with life in prison and or death for their crimes against uh whatever this place is they spent all this time helping the community and what just because a scooby may have quote unquote done something bad and mischievous in the text means that we should just incarcerate them for life i don't think that's how that's gonna work okay, okay. uh can we call our first witness yep. please? please state your Ooh, name squids. and occupation my name's velma uh, and I'm, I'm a member of the scooby gang i do the i do the paperwork behind the seats and i just want to say my gang didn't do anything wrong um can you please testify about the character of um shaggy and co i've known them for very long i've worked through some hard situations with them and i i don't think they've ever done anything wrong how many times has closer killed people and not gone to court over it. I mean, that, that is true. The prosecution would like to call uh, Mr. Scooby-Doo to the stand. Oh, I'd, I'd sure hate to be that guy. Uh, who owns the mystery sub? That's a great question for Shaggy and not me. Oh man. Please be aware that the result of this will determine the outcome of who gets sent to prison and or death. So I suggest you start talking. Come in, go, 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 And while the players were handling their business, the villagers were on course to finish what they had started. Okay, guys, while they work on the mines, I need you to work on the dock. No pirate cove is complete without docks to wreck even more ships. 
So the villagers got to work on building some around the island. Oh man, I feel like we're kind of speed running this island a little bit, but I don't really have a plan. I mean, this island was a little bit easier because the villagers needed houses, but this island is basically just extra. But I guess the mining villagers do need houses. I could build along the docks that we just made. I mean, I think we built about one of every single type of house we could do, which was one of my major goals. Ooh, I kind of have a cool idea for this little rock. I know we've already got a bunch of these, but why not another? I think it should fit on this little stone. If there's gonna be any shipwreck anywhere, it's definitely gonna be on this rock. In fact, the more I think about it, this entire dock is a terrible place for boats. Any boat that tries to wash up the shore will do literally just that. They will wash up the shore because these reefs are going to destroy the hull of the boat. But that's okay because when that happens, we'll just turn them into a beautiful humble abode just like this one. Why, why are you guys just chilling under the dock? What's going on down there? What you guys got going on? Is there something crazy cool down here? What, this is kind of lame. Why are you guys so fascinated? Mind your business. Oh no, the sun is setting. We're running out of time. How about we check back in with the players? Well, I guess I, I really oh, didn't have the bread to get out of here. Have some potatoes. That was the conclusion of the very bizarre story of the mystery solvers. And just in time, the players were done. The village they had built was, in their eyes, a perfect representation of working together to accomplish something extraordinary. And to celebrate, everybody came together at the Kelp Citadel to prepare for their next voyage. Yeah. All right, people, people, please lend me your ears. Lend me your waterlogged ears your uh, swimmers here you have to speak up what use uh, what? what the heck i can't hear you over the drops. water in my ears what a dream which has floated upon the midnight waves beneath the phantom force those insomniacs that live here are problematic but we've we've persevered to this point i have been reading the kelp the scriptures have spoken to me and i shall be the voice for you today i shall give voice to the sacred kelp have you eaten of the sacrament yet Enjoy your sacrament. If you need more, well, simply ask. Yep. Not some more. Eat it. Today, oh, we dive into the mystery of life. Oh, the world shall be laid bare. In these teachings for you all, like, like the oceanic biomes that meet and yet are so separate. The colors of the biomes different. They don't blend as well as we used to. Our world has met with another. I tell you today, and with the weight and certainty of the ocean itself, that we are not alone in this landless, ruthless, and uncaring universe. You may ask, how do we get there? How do we move on from this plane to another? How do we achieve this state of purity and salvation? How do we find the just society? It's simple. We must submit to the gods. We must relinquish our desires and our will. Eat of the kelp and our first. The chosen among us will go through the portal and enter the new realm. Not you. Go away. I call forth the ascended, Sabbath, the keeper of the kelp, the chosen among us to move forth into the new dimension and to break oh, new man. ground. Join Solve the villagers. Mystery, man. Show us the way. And we, we, go. we shall join you. Bye. All right, all right, everybody. Honestly, oh, I think we dead. need to make a boat. Us? We need to make a boat and get out of here. <laughs> what? Wait, what? Wait, what? Oh, man. Oh, what? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. It's done. It's done. Oh, God, the invasion. The players were eager to make contact with their enemy counterparts, the villagers. But will they be ready for what they find on the other side? Okay, this might be a little bit lame, but I think I'm just going to cover this island in trees. <laughs> but I also think we could build one of these. Anywhere's a good place for a totem of Aki. I mean, it might not be the coolest place to hang, but it's definitely better than nothing. We've got the mining island with the totem of Aki. I am proud. This is the best I could accomplish. But at the end of the day, I think we've done all right. This might be Minecraft's deadliest ocean, but I'd say we conquered it. We're not just surviving. We're thriving. In hindsight, there's definitely a lot that I would have changed, but I'm pretty happy with this. But you know, if I had to live anywhere, this village wouldn't be that bad. There's plenty of places to get into craftery, not to mention the beautiful ocean views. You just kind of got to watch your step. Otherwise, Davy Jones locker. It might not be the best place for boats, but I think it's an all right place for a peaceful life. And besides the number one most important thing, we've got food and we've got a lot of it. It might not be much, but I feel like we did all right.
So, who built the better village? The players who proved that by working together, they could prevail in building not just a village, but a society. Or the villagers who overcame their fears of the sea and found a way to do what they do best. I think that is a question better answered by you.